Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question box stacking. So the question is you are given different lengths, widths and heights and you have unlimited supply of boxes for each of these lengths, widths and heights. How do you place the boxes on top of each other such that you get the maximum height but with the caveat that the box going on the top should have strictly less length and width than the box on which it is going. So for example, I have unlimited supply of these kind of boxes of uh, length, width and height 4 and then I have unlimited supply of these kind of boxes whose uh, dimensions are 3, 2 and 1. So how do we stack them on top of each other such that we get the maximum height? So for this example here at the bottom we'll have these, these, one, of, one of this box so that will be 4, 4, 4. This is length, width and height. You can obviously rotate these boxes in any direction to get the maximum height. So after this we'll place one of these boxes, one of this box, such that the length is 3, width is 2 and height is 1. So as you can see, length is strictly less than the, uh, this length and this 2 is strictly less than 4. Then we'll place another unit of this box such that its length is 2, width is 1 and the height is 3. And then we cannot place anything on top of that. So the maximum height here I can get is 4 plus 1, 5 plus 3, 8 with these kind of boxes. So how do you solve it? We'll use dynamic programming and our understanding of longest increasing subsequence to solve this problem. I have already discussed the longest increasing subsequence in another video. So let's use those concepts to solve this question. So I'll start with two set of boxes. First set of boxes have dimension 1, 2 and 4 and second set of boxes have dimension 3, 2 and 5. So what I'll do is I will get all the rotations of the boxes and I'll write them right here. I'll also without losing generality I will say that my length will always be greater than or equal to width. So the rotations of this box will be 4, 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, 2, 1, 4. The rotation of these, this set of boxes is uh, 5, 3, 2, 5, 2, 3, and then 3, 2, 5. So next we do is we sort them in the decreasing order of their uh, base area. My base area is my length into width. Why we are sorting them on that is because if a box 1 has a higher base area than box 2, there is no way a box 1 can go on top of box 2. But if a box 1 has a less base area than box, box 2, then there is a chance that it can go on top of box 2. We are not sure, but there is a possibility. So let's sort them based on based off their base area. So this base area is 8, this is 4, this is 2, this is 15, this is 10, and this is 6. So let's sort them in decreasing order. So this is highest, so 5, 3, 2. then 5, 2, 3, this is the next one, so 5, 2, 3, then 8 is the third one, so 4, 2, 1, then 6 is the next one, so 3, 2, 5, and 4 is the next one, so 4, 1, 2, and then 2, 1, 4. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, and this is 5. So after this, we will create uh, two arrays of same length as this. So of length 6, this will store the maximum height and this will store our final result. And on top of this, we'll apply the same kind of algorithm which we applied on the longest increasing uh, sequence, subsequence. So if the boxes were just by themselves, what is the max height they could get? So for if this, this was the only box there, the maximum height it can do is 2. If 1 was the only box, the maximum height it could do is 3. Similarly, 1, 5, 2, and 4. And we'll write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now my i will be 1 and my j will be 0. So what I'm doing is I'm checking can J go on, go, can I go on top of J? If I can go on top of J, the best we can do at I is 
best we can do at j plus the height at i. So let's see, can 5, 2 go on top of 5, 3? No, because this is not strictly less than this. So I increment my i by 1 and j stays at 0. Can 4, 2 uh, box with length and width 4, 2 go on top of box with length 5 and 3? Of length and width 5 and 3? Yes. So the best I can do here is the best I could have done till this point which is 2 plus this height. So this becomes 3 and I also indicate that 2 is going on top of 0. Then I increment my j by 1. Is uh, 1, uh, is, can this box go on top of this box? No, because 2 and 2 are same. So then my i becomes uh, 3 and my j again starts from 0. Can this guy go on top of this guy? Yes. So the maximum height I can get is the best I can do till this point which is 2 plus this value which is 7, which is 5. So 5 plus 2 is 7. And I'll indicate that uh, 3 is going on top of box 0. Then I increment by j by 1. So my i is 3. Can this box go on top of this guy? No. Then I increment by j again by 1. Can this box go on top of this guy's box? No. So I, my i goes up by 1 and j goes back to 0. 4. Can 4, 1 go on top of 5, 3? Yes. So the best I can do till here is the best I could have done till here which is 2 plus this value 2. So this becomes 4. And I'm indicating that 4 is going on top of box 0. Can this guy go on top of this guy? Yes, because this is strictly less than this. So the best I can do with going on top of with uh, 4 going on top of 1 is 3 plus 2, which is 5, which is better than what we have at here. So this becomes 5. And we'll indicate that 4 is going on top of box 1. Then j goes here. Can uh, 4 go on top of uh, 2? No, because 4 is same as 4. Similarly, 4 cannot go on top of this one. So finally, our i becomes 5 and our j starts from 0. Can this go on top of this? Yes, because this is strictly less than this. So the best I can do is the best I can do is the best I could have done till here, which is 2 plus this number 6. So this becomes 6 and will indicate that 5 is going on top of 0. Then j goes up by 1. Can this guy go on top of this guy? Yes. So the best I can do here till here is 3 plus 4, 7, which is better than 6. So this becomes 7 and will indicate that 5 is going on top of 1. Then we'll say j is here. Can this guy go on top of this guy? Yes. So the best we can do is 3 plus 4, 7, which is not better than what we already have, so we'll not change anything. Finally, we'll have a j here. Can this guy go on top of this guy? Yes. So the best we can do is, the best we could have done till here, which is 7, plus this number 4, 11, which is greater than 7, so this becomes 11, and we'll say that 5 is going on top of 3. And finally, j becomes 4. Can this guy go on top of this guy? No. So finally, i has reached the end, and we are done with our uh, for uh, with, we are done with our iteration. So then we just iterate through this max uh, array and find the maximum number, which is 11. So the maximum height we can do is 11. And to get the boxes, the actual result, we'll go into this array and we'll go to the corresponding uh, number here, so that's 5. So 5 is in the result and we'll say that 2, 1 and 4 will be at the top. Then we go to 3, which is this guy. So under 2, 1 and 4 we'll have 3, 2 and 5. So this is box number 5, this is box number 3. And then from 3 we go to 0. And so under 3 we'll have 5, 3 and 2. So the maximum height here is 11, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 4, 11, which we, already, which we already got from here. And the arrangement will be 5, 3. On top of this 3, 2, 3, 2 is strictly less than 5, 3. And on top of 2, 1, which is strictly less than 3, 2. The space complexity is, uh, as we, we started with two, uh, two set of boxes, 
we got three rotations. So in total we have uh, uh, three. If we start with n, our total number will be three n, which is still O of n. So our space complexity will be O of n, and our time complexity will be O of n square, because we start we move i forward and then j goes till the i and then i again increments by one. So the space complexity for this algorithm is O of n, and the time complexity for this algorithm is O of n square. To check the code for this uh, problem, go to the description description section of this video where I have the link for the code. Also, I would ask uh, viewers to like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com user tusharoy2525, and visit my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. Thanks for watching this video.